Sharponators. We're doing it big. And we're going to watch this demo. Here we go. This is Classic Mixup versus R5 on CP Metalworks. I didn't get a chance to watch it because I was casting the other game. And I want to see what happened. We're going to watch mostly from R5's perspective and see what went wrong. I want to watch from the demo because usually the demo will dictate the mid before anyone gets there. So we're going to start on that. Rollout seems pretty solid. So it should be a decent mid off of that. He does not land that sticky onto the demo. Hits the scout a bit. I don't know if he should have turned back there, because that's the second that he could have charged a sticky and put it on the enemy team. He's just kind of, at this point, he's already playing defensive. Um, I didn't really see what the soldiers did there, but I feel that if he were able to, or if he were in a position to push forward with his stickies, my music is still going. How unprofessional. How unprofessional. And we're gonna reload this actually. YOLO Swaggeroni. I wanna watch this from actually DJC's perspective. He is the pocket soldier for R5. And let's see what he's doing. We're gonna find out. Okay. Might be him right here. It is. So it should be good. Let's learn. Let's put our thinking caps on and let's learn. Standard escape plan rollout. Get to low health. Wait till you get to the second bridge to get healed by your medic. And he should start getting healed about here, of course. A little late on that heal there. Like trying to get the Rome soldier to 300 right, right before healing DJC kind of unnecessary so this soldier jumps tries to get on that soldier misses the rocket tries to get onto the medic but Siegel has a sticky up in place for him um, I feel like if his bomb would have had a little more like meaning if he was like oh I'm gonna go for this soldier oh no wait I'm gonna go for this medic just like seeing something at mid and not just jumping to jump might have helped him quite a bit Juna's gonna go down here and only Duotna remaining they will be able to cap second here, and with a full uber advantage, should just be able to walk right into last here. It's recommended that you put a soldier up here, usually, or up here, just kind of watching the entrances so you can make them pop pretty much right away, but they are going to come in through the entrance here. And that scout should chase this soldier, and excellent focus fire by Seagull taking him out. You want to get picks. On Metalworks, last you have to get the kills. The, the reason behind that is um, this this last point puts you in a little like corner of an area that just makes you eat all the spam ever. So you got to get picks. When you uber in, get picks. You can't really just like cap it right away. You have to just like chase them and get kills or if not chase, kill the things that are close first. So this time we're going to watch from Scarlet. I know he's a pretty good room soldier, so we'll see what he does if he has any more direction here, doing a left rollout. So jumping onto a scout, not the best idea, not recommended. He's now at 80 health, and there's not a lot he can do. He's just kind of sanctioned off to shooting 20 to 30 damage spam rockets, tries to jump on that scout. If you play Rome or Soldier, it's usually not recommended that you rocket jump onto scouts unless they can't see you coming and you know exactly where they are. You have to land a 100 damage rocket or any scout will just chew you up. So probably not the best call. Uh, I know a lot of soldiers get anxious. They want to get to mid and they want to jump and they want to make something happen. But I advocate being smart about it. If you're a roam and 
you're going to be jumping for a bomb or a suicide or just to put out as much damage as possible, don't jump blindly. Please don't do that. You want to jump with any information that your team has given you. For instance, uh, where's where the medic came out? Is the medic hurt? Going for that. Running a Pyro, Scarlet is delaying them quite a bit. But Yuki also going down a little too overextended on the right. Should have been playing closer to the combo there. And they are holding this down quite a bit, but it won't be enough because there are simply too many fragging classes on Mixup Alive right now. But again, you, you have to go for the frags. You see how they didn't even go for the point? You gotta go for the kills. Um, two quick rounds for Mixup. Looks like DJC is opting to run the gunboats now. So we'll see what that does for us. Again, I want to watch from the soldier perspective. I want to see if they're making anything happen for the team. The soldiers are, are pretty much the initiators. Um, they have the most health with a buff and they have decent um, mobility, you know, with the rocket jump, especially with gunboats on. DJC needs to get in there now. He doesn't have that luxury of just sitting back and reloading four rockets and that really hurt his team right there. He needed to get in and even if he was reloading while he was in, his presence means a lot. It means that they won't aggress because they see another person and go, oh shit, I have to kill three people? Well, never mind then, I'm just going to back up. And that that's very important. So, uh, uh, just a mistake on his part there, not playing as aggressive as he should have. He was full health, and even though he was reloading rockets, needed to, to show that presence for his team. Yuki running sniper right now, and they're just going to give up too. Uh, uh, you can can test to a little bit and it's recommended that you do at least peek it just kind of shoot at it see if you can catch someone not paying attention um and in turn just getting a pick for yourselves and maybe even delaying the uber push like that a scout going down but then harb jumping in to snatch that sniper up he'll go down as well and they may be able to hold this with two players down on mix up no they're gonna uber in um if they play this right if r5 plays this right they should be fine here they need to focus fire though, and they are, so they will most certainly get this last point. Mix up playing that uber very well, and they didn't really put a whole lot of focus on the point. They they tried to focus on getting what was as close to them as possible, that way everything can shoot it at once. With uber, you want to kill the things that are readily available to you, the first and easiest pick when they don't have uber and you do so we're just waiting half time here i'm gonna go ahead and run it forward and we'll get this going so we're starting the second half I want to watch from the scouts perspective now. I want to see if they're having openings and they're just not taking it. What is going on? Let's watch from Yuki's perspective. I know he's a great scout from Australia on the team I am, or scout. He's a soldier, but he plays scout in America rather. America, North America, it includes Canada. So Yuki looking for an opening, seeing a bunch of soldiers jumping, doesn't really see one directly, a scout pushing up forward, but not before, Mixup has two picks, and he won't be able to finish anything off, hardly getting very aggressive in finishing that scout. So, I want to say a lot of it is going to be because of the soldier aggression, but I'd really have to watch another mid and see Platinum landing a nice rocket onto DJC there. Nice air rocket. Enigma flanking to what uh wow that's that is not good that does not bode well for r5 and this may just go to 4-0 very quickly and very convincingly but r5 just not playing together as a team and i'm not sure why that is um i know djc took an extended break from the game well i mean i always i never felt like he played an entire season outside of IM and maybe even in IM I feel like he didn't play every match or something like that I could be absolutely wrong but Mixup will look to push these heals and their advantage to the point and they will get it so again not putting the focus on the point 
focusing on getting those frags when you have the uber and the opposing team does not they simply cannot kill smacka or uh the joker on mix-up and that's causing a lot of problems i don't know what his how, what his deaths are right now but they're not very high maybe one one death two deaths maximum in four rounds which is really good so i want to see what duetna is doing i want to see if he's laying down that opening damage for the team he's gonna get bombed right away uh, they need to ignore that soldier now and push forward taking out that soldier i suppose they still do have a chance here at mid laying down those two stickies was a very dangerous choice because if the medic didn't just mistakenly walk right into it then you know he just dies he sits there looking at his stickies waiting for the medic to walk into it hoping that he's not paying attention you never want to do that you never want to hope that your opposing team makes the mistake again you want to you want to hope that you play well and that you made a play work because it was the right play to make at that time juna eating a face rocket from harb and harb also taking out scarlet um I don't know, it just seems like the DM is, is somewhat favoring mix-up, and but I think a little of it is going to be how they're approaching this mid. I would be interested in maybe talking to R5 at some point. Platinum walking right into a sticky trap there. If you see a demo on that side, you can expect that there will be a trap. Um, but the Ubers are even. A scout getting in very aggressively here. Yuki. Um, I assume he's calming to the team right now. Get in, get in, I'm in. It's uh, somewhat what I like to do. I like to just get in. Harb jumping behind for the uh, distraction play, but Scarlet picking off both the pocket demo and the medic. Pocket demo, not pocket soldier. Uh, Seagull was getting healed by the medic there. They must have both been hurt when he made that flank. So a good play by Scarlet may salvage this round and finally earn them their first round. Platinum trying to make a play happen. Very hurt. He'll surely drop to the bottom and grab that med pack. But DJC picks him off down in the underpass before he can do so. They should put a scout on the point and push this Uber into the combo right now. And it looks like Enigma's trying to make a play from behind. But they do spot him. Harblu taking out Yuki. I think, yeah, Harblu is still behind them, but he gets spotted out by Scarlet and gets taken out by a nice direct rocket. Smacker running Kritzkrieg onto Siegel here. They may just opt to use it right away. We'll see. They're waiting for the perfect opportunity. But I don't really see it as the medic is playing to the side of the point and not really available to be hit by that Kritz. And Yuki now running Sniper. I don't think they know that they're running Kritz. And I feel like this scout should have died a long time ago. But finally going down, they should that should cue the push and they should go right in. Um, Yuki headshotting that demo. The demo goes down. Beautiful headshot by him. And this last push should be a breeze as long as the crits doesn't work. They need to pop it. And they do pop it. Duatna is in the red though. He can't really get in. Um, but there goes Platinum. Sniper's coming in. Demo's finally getting healed and they should be able to cap. So some solid plays by R5. A really nice play by Scarlet saving the round and bringing it back to... 4-1 but still their mids are very troubling as you can see the rounds that they have lost have been because of the fact that their mids are not working their med is going down and mix-ups just pushing with that full advantage that they're getting from that mid win so not really having op an opportunity to defend their last DJC again jumping a scout that's what happens when you jump scouts don't do it jump on the demo jump on the medic and make those scouts turn around and focus you instead of focusing what they want which is a jumping soldier and that is before you land of course so 4-1 this could be the last round djc the only one alive right now on r5 they could push this uber directly in i'm not sure why they aren't maybe they're waiting for a forward spawn platinum just spawning now and he'll be at middle so it'll take him a while to get in hard blue going down to scarlet scarlet very low though if they just peek and spam real quick they might be able to get him and they do not 
Um, R5 just sitting back building, hopefully biding their time so they can get an Uber. And now the Uber from Mixup will be coming in. We'll see how R5 handles this situation. Enigma taking out Scarlet. Enigma is hurt right now, though. One more shot. DJC landing two direct full damage rockets onto Enigma, and we'll have a successful hold for R5. So, good hold by them. It seems like everything but their mids are pretty good, actually. So I'm, I'm surprised. I feel like they just need to do like a mid workshop or Kytus' demo rollout workshop extraordinaire. I, I just wanted to say that. I'm sorry. They need, to, they need to figure out their mids. They need to like go into the mid generator or whatever it's called where you only do mids. DJC spending a little too much time on the floor there as a pocket soldier as a soldier in general you want to play in the air and both scouts of mix up and the demo are putting pressure onto two but they come back and respond in time picking those last few players they should be able to get into mid here and take that without a problem loki overseer loki rather sitting at about 30 percent and will have that advantage over the enemy team's medic as long as they continue to heal. This scout causing a lot of trouble for them. DJC taking out that scout with an expertly placed rocket. So they want to be looking to take over this mid right now. Platinum jumping in really high, trying to get on the high ground so he can spam down. He's very hurt. No one else shooting him. Juna just barely getting out with 11 health. And I think they're just going to wait until they get this Uber. However, Juana takes out smacka there and overseer may have to use this uber just to save players i don't agree with this i don't agree with this really unless they can catch up to the other scout and heal both of them play both of them together okay the other scout is connected with the medic which is very important juna taking out enigma with relative ease and a buff, but taking him out nonetheless. Yes, the opposing team had more members alive, but they were all fairly hurt. That did end up working. Luckily, both scouts connected to the medic, which is very important. That's what I would have been looking to do at that point. Juna turning his back to the two members of Mixup entering mid, getting uh, sidebarred by the demo spam there, bringing him down to 24, and he goes down early queuing the retreat from R5. So now R5 is in full retreat back to their second point as they have not capped the middle. And Mixup will be looking to push in here if R5 does not successfully hold this with what they do have. Which I suppose Mixup is just going to wait until they get the Uber. But Overseer is at a high enough percentage that even if they were to Uber in as soon as they got it, they could stop the point with their Uber in response. And it looks like they may do just that. Harblu may cue the push here with his jump and he is not getting, he is getting pushed back by that spam from the demo. And I'll be looking to see what Harblu is gonna do, a jump and he will crater when he falls. So that is a number advantage for our five the ball is in their court right now. They need to make something happen as they're four rounds down. Do what in a making smack a drop there. DJC should be calling that demo out in the elbow. Scout will rush him and take him out. Moose taking out the demo of R5 and only Harbly remains. He should not be able to make anything happen and he falls back. So again, we will find R5 in a position where they have the uber advantage and a lot of the momentum in this game will be based off of that. But they can't get ahead of themselves here like that. They can't just rush in. And there comes Harblu, jumping over both the soldiers' heads and picking off the medic. Very nice, agile jump there by him. So R5 getting a little overzealous and losing four members of the team because of that. So if they would have just taken their time and played off of the uber advantage, then they could have been in a much better position right now and not losing their mid. So Harbly going down 
pushed up a little further than he should be. Scarlet should be aware of maybe any sticky trap that might be lying around. A bit of a failed rocket jump there, but he is able to recover as Mixup is backing out of the middle now. And Overseer with only... well, that advantage is quickly diminishing. Both teams on Uber. They need to push it slowly. They can't be getting in right now. I don't understand this. I don't understand this. Our control point is being captured. Wow, I'm surprised that worked. I mean, they're going for the, the less reliable and ballsy play, but it worked. DJC jumping in. There wasn't a whole lot of pressure on him, and he was able to take the high ground and push out the opposing team. And I get that was a good play by R5. I did not expect that to work. They got the point essentially for free. Mix up popping on the ladder with Scarlet hiding on the side with full health, jumping to the point, which is an interesting choice, but he should be able to take out both the medic and a the scout there. Bringing the score to a 4 2 in favor of Mix up. And let's see what happens from the perspective of. Scarlet on this mid. Is he going to make something happen? Is he going to open the door for his team? Going with an elbow rollout. 300 health before his jump. I... Th okay. That's an okay jump. That's fine. That's a good distraction. Now you've got the scout looking at you. That's perfect. That is a perfect bomb, perfect roamer play at mid. That's exactly how you want to do it. That's soldier. No oh my goodness, Scarlet! I am so glad I watched you this mid. And the crossfire from the down with the soldiers coming in, picking off the demo of mixup. That was a great mid, and you can tell R5 is feeling pretty good about this. However, their medic did go down at middle, and Enigma on NG, so they will not be looking to retake their set. Well, <laughs> not retake their second, but try to contest it that's pretty clear by the heavy and ng that they are now running So with a 30% advantage, 20% on Smacka, they may be looking to now push up and they are not opting to push up, Enigma staying on Engineer. They had two picks there, they might have been able to just weasel their way in and cap that point, but they decided to stay back, stick with that level 3 sentry, and did I see? Oh, huh. interesting sentry spot by Enigma here. He's able to get up on top of these crates and kind of deny potentially any jumpers. I do like that spot. That is kind of cool. I did not know about that. So Yuki landing a nice headshot onto Platinum. I feel like they should suicide another player in, but I don't know if the sentry is going to cause them a lot of trouble here. It may. They don't even know where it is. I think they hear it though. There it is, surprising them, but it should go down. They're putting time on point, but it just gets stopped by the by the Uber of Mixup. And now their Uber has expired. Platinum's in spawn. Ignore that guy. We need to either get out or we need to... Oh, Sticky's on the point. Take out DJC as he tries to get on that medic and take him out. Mixup will be looking to retake their second point. Yuki trying to make a play onto an aggressive scout who's looking to capture that point early. Harblue now chasing Scarlet, taking him out. They'll surely get this second point back. And that time that is on mixups last will roll back and they'll just take this with no contention with the heavy still sitting on last I suppose there is a threat of someone running spy so I understand that decision mixup playing it safe they know that they have the round advantage now at 4-2 I understand R5's play when they tried to get into second there. Uh, ooh, those nice stickies just barely missed Enigma. They were placed on the underside of that midpoint, and they weren't will not 
or they were not dead in time to kill Enigma, but he did walk right by them. There is a possibility that Duatna did miss that. So they are pushing in through the main area right now. Overseer at 98%. Someone needs to connect with this medic right now. Right now. Oh my goodness. That If I were that medic, I would be screaming right now. Not in anger, but I would have been screaming to the team. Guys, I'm 98. Guys, I'm 98. Please get to me now. And I guess it's possible that... R5 was not in a position where they could fall back to their medic as there was spam blocking that that retreat path to the medic. But that may just put the nail in the coffin of this game. As Smeka is at 50, 60% now, 40% advantage over R5. As long as you know how to push last, which it does seem that Mixup knows. They know that you need to get those picks. I believe that they should take this round with this advantage that they do have. Sans Yuki landing a beautiful sniper headshot, which we will see. Early pop from Smacka, a scout soldier uber, which is standard. Platinum very aggressive on this, but it works. And there go four members of R5, the remaining members of Mixup now, just running onto the point, making it a 5-2. So it seems to me in retrospect, the the mids were R5's biggest troubles. They didn't really know how to approach the mid, and that hurt them more than anything else. They had big plays from numerous people on the team. They just were not able to capitalize off of that. Maybe it's because there's been a little bit of a roster shakeup for them, uh, having to put DJC on pocket over Mela. Um, but yeah, it's a shame because I feel like that match could have been a lot closer than it was. So good match though. 5-2, but I saw some interesting things, some really good plays in there.